What's up, boys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are finally checking out Animation versus Minecraft. This is one of the most popular series on all of YouTube with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of views. It's pretty epic. It is all done by Alan Becker. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel. It's some of the coolest content you will ever see. So here we are seeing Orange, I believe he is known as <laughs> the chosen one. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. You can roast me in the comments if I don't remember the names. I'll need you to let me know the names of everyone so that uh, <laughs> in the future I don't mess them up because I know it's going to annoy some people. But I'm pretty sure that's the chosen one. I really hope it is. Or the second coming. Oh, God. I forget. But anyway, he is finally finding the Minecraft app on Alan Becker's PC. And with the app, it seems like he has creative mode. And there are all the boys. I think that they're all just called, like, their actual color. So green, blue, yellow, red. If you're colorblind, they are in that order. You'll probably get them mixed up pretty easily if you are colorblind. My editor is severely color colorblind, so I don't think he's going to know who is who at all. <laughs> But here we go. Okay. Let's see what the chosen one is going to do uh, with the power of Minecraft creative mode. Really, the power is pretty infinite. When you have creative mode, you can fly. You can spawn in literally anything. You can make whatever food you want. Anything. I wish I had creative mode in real life because I would just put pizza in my hand all day long and just eat it constantly. But here we go. So it seems like everybody is gathering different blocks that they want. That guy seems to have gotten a lot of farming blocks. The guy before him, a lot of building blocks. This guy getting a lot of redstone blocks. Ooh, maybe this guy's going to get like a bunch of armor and like swords and shields and stuff. Whoa! Hold on, there's history here. Wait. Can this guy see into the future or something? Like what is going on? How does he know? Wait, red is bad. Wait, red is not that bad. Red is not that bad, okay? Having red hair is not the worst thing in the world. It could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the... Uh, the redstone... Get Wait. Oh, they're setting up like an entire trap right now. Yo! Wait, are they setting up a trap? Oh, wait. Are they gonna use bone meal to grow those trees and like boost them up into the sky into the tnt what did red do what is going on what did red do to deserve this guys just because he's the color red does not mean he's a bad person wait he's scrolling through a bunch of things what, the, what is he finding here is that a villager oh it's a bunny oh wait they're just testing to see what he would do with the power so they set up a bunch of traps just in case he did something bad i see <laughs> okay i get it now i get it now but see look all he did was spawn in buddies with it nothing that bad nothing that bad okay so now they all have the power of creative mode whoa a lot of wool a lot of building blocks i guess are they gonna have like a build battle or something are they all the exact same inventory now Are they opening another app? Oh, no. Oh, no. He just tossing the Minecraft app back. So now nobody has access to it, but they have all the blocks that they need. Oh, and he's Googling something. Google uh, YouTube.com backslash Cyber Reacts. And uh, watch all those videos and subscribe to them. <laughs> Get him. Excavator. Excavator? Oh, they're going to have to build an excavator? Is that what's happening? This has to be like a build battle, right? Oh, okay. So they have a seemingly a five minute timer to build an excavator. Now I've done a lot of build battle challenges with Jack and Adam, and uh, it's not that easy. Five minutes is not that long to build something with uh, extreme detail. It is very difficult. Very, very difficult. But here we go. Okay. <laughs> This is me every time I build something. Uh, okay, I'll put three blocks here, a couple blocks there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks terrible, though. Oh, this guy's moving and grooving, though. Look how quick he's going. See, that's the thing. When you only have a certain amount of time, 
You have to build so quickly and almost like not even think about what you're doing. And then just hope and pray that it looks good by the end. <laughs> Wait, this guy. Oh, he's very indecisive. He does not know what he wants to do. Oh, there we go. A little bit of yellow concrete. Or maybe yellow terracotta. No, he doesn't like that either. You only got four minutes left, bro! You literally just wasted 20% of your time building nothing! Bro fell asleep in five minutes. I wish I could do that. I can't sleep some nights. This guy's falling asleep in five minutes. But here we go. Time is up. Everyone stop your builds! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! No more building. No more building. I hear people building still. Let's see who won this challenge. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got a cat on top! Because it's called the cat. Or it's, yeah, the cat, uh, like, a, a, a excavator. See, look, it has, it says cat on it. Oh, that's pretty creative. I like that. I like, that's like plus three points for me. The rest of the build, though, doesn't look that good. It looks like an elephant trunk, kind of. Like, it's very floppy looking. Very well done. That's like Adam. We give him pity claps for all of his builds. Okay, that's not even the right color. Why didn't you just make it yellow? Oh! Okay, all right, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Props to that. Although, I don't know how you did that. I don't see any redstone actually anywhere. It's just a lever, but still very, very cool. Well done, my friend. Okay, this one easily looks the best. This one looks the best by far. Any redstone, though? No redstone, no cat. Whoa! Okay, yo! Wait, this guy actually cooked and he only did it in like four minutes too because he was very indecisive. How did he do that so quick? And green is the winner! Let's go! And he gets a full set of gold armor for that too. Wait, are they gonna blow it up? No! And that is how you start a war. That is how you start a war, bro. That is how you start a war. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to the homie? Not cool, bro. Whenever Adam does that, I get really annoyed. And he does it all the time. Alright, I believe that this is a different segment now. So we are moving past the build battle that Green won. I don't know if all these episodes are going to be like different challenges and stuff. But if they are... Whoa, wait. He just mined downwards. What's down there? Okay, that is not the same block, dummy. That's probably... It's got to be like black terracotta or black concrete he's gonna oh, he's gonna get curious I'm curious what's down there yeah is it gonna be like a cave right, be careful uh, at least he's mining two at a time though because if you only mine one at a time that's how you die and he's doing it wrong you gotta stand in between so you don't just fall into a cave and there he goes. He fell into a cave. He got lucky, though, that there was no lava, or he would have died. Okay, so he's in a mine shaft. Be careful, though, bro. This is where cave spiders spawn. Do not get cave spidered. You get poisoned. It's not fun. I've been there before, and I've died many times. Oh, so he's discovered a mine cart and rails. Ooh, he likes it. He likes it. Are we just gonna make like an entire roller coaster? Okay, hold on. I will say in Minecraft, I feel like there needs to be a minecart update where you can make like actual roller coasters. It shouldn't be that hard for them to make that, I think. And it would just be so cool. Cause right now you can do like kind of a little bit of cool stuff, but it's not like you can do any jumps or or any like spins or anything like that in real Minecraft but if you could that would be so sick um, there, would be, there would be so much content made around that and I don't think it would have hurt the, like the integrity of the game at all just like an extra fun feature that people can use but let's see are the boys going to discover oh wait there's like a whole grand entrance now how long has he been working on this yo that is cool. That is cool. Comment down below which color is your favorite. So far, I think I like yellow the most because that was sick. He's building an entire like roller coaster track for the boys. Wait, does he not want to go on it? Is he scared? Oh, don't be scared. Guys, there was one time I was on a roller coaster at Six Flags and I passed out. I'm going to be honest. I let my head go like this because I would just like let my body do whatever and I think too much blood got into my brain and then I passed out. I wasn't scared. I was just like, whoa. 
Yo, here they go. All right, let's see how much yellow built here. Hands in the air if you're not a little baby. Woo! All right. So far, pretty cool. Nothing. No loop de loops though, and no jumps yet. I'm not impressed. Okay, that is sick. Does that work in Minecraft? Can you use slug to bounce yourself up? That would be cool. I, I would say that's pretty cool. Yo, look, it's yellow. You say what's up? What's up, boys? Hold on. Whoa. Oh, wait, it's lava. No way he let them all go to their doom. But I see pistons down there. Maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Dude, that could have been so bad if they all went to the lava. They never would have forgave him. Well, they couldn't have forgave him because they all would have died. Oh my god, duck down below. That could have been very dangerous. They could have been decapitated if they didn't duck. Yo, no way he mined all of this out. This is like a giant ravine. Yo, this is actually so cool though. One little mistake though. And they are all dead. They would all die instantly. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. How long does this go for? Oh my gosh, dude. Yellow is actually crazy for that. Dude, they just did a whole loop-de-loop. -loop. Bro, this is easily the coolest roller coaster of all time. The end. Wow, very cool. That was sick. Oh, dot, dot, wait. No, there's more. Just kidding. Uh oh. Wait, is this where he actually like leaves him in the lava? That would be crazy. The amount of emotions that these guys have gone through. Oh, big jump. Really big jump. Oh, Yellow is nervous. Did he not test this? Why is he nervous? Okay, here they come. <clears throat> Are they going to make it? <clears throat> Imagine they don't, they just fall. They just fall to their doom. <laughs> what the heck? Did he not? I mean, I guess he didn't test it. In theory, you would think that would work with all of the inertia and centripetal force. And the continuation of the algorithmic theory of force and mo and motion. But no, they all just fell to the doom. I guess that they ate too many pizzas the day before. Here we go. Here is blue. I'm pretty sure blue is the one that grabbed all the farming material in that first episode. So here he goes. He's farming now. Uh oh, wait. Is he about to discover what potions are? Oh, he's got he's got another wart. He's got bottle of po uh, bottle of uh, water. I feel like he's going to discover what potions are. Maybe potions of strength. Maybe potions of healing. Maybe potions of something. But he needs to get a brewing stand, right? He, it's not just a cauldron. He needs a brewing stand too. Wait, this is not how it works, but this is how it should work because this is really cool. I think you're just making like a tasty drink. Awkward potion. Oh, I don't think he was ready for that. I don't think he was ready for it to say awkward potion. I think he was just trying to make a tasty drink for himself, like tea or like coffee. Instead though, he made an awkward potion, which as you guys probably know, does nothing. You can drink it, nothing happens though. But it is the base for how you make any other potion. You have to make an awkward potion, then you put it like what he's doing right now in a brewing stand. And then you can put things like blaze powder, like sugar, like other stuff in that to mix it with the awkward potion. And then you get yourself um, a specific type of potion. Be no, bees are not going to cut it. You need to put... Uh, if he's got sugar cane, he could put sugar... Oh, he passed sugar! Oh, there we go, magma slime! What is that? Oh, that's uh, fire resistance, I think. Yeah, so fire resistance. So if he drinks that, depending on how much time he's on it... Three minutes. He now literally cannot take any damage from any fire or lava. Look at that. Yo. That is cool. That is really cool. His head was on fire. Okay, now he's testing out everything else that he can do. Is that like a rabbit foot? Yep. Potion of leaping. Boing. He's going to jump high. Boing. <laughs> that is cool. Wait, that should be destroying his fire, but it's not. Continu continuity error. Continuity error there. Uh oh, it's becoming nighttime. I think he's going to spend all night brewing up potions. What are the rest of the boys up to, though? Is he going to spawn in Adam's Bomb? I think he is. I'm just kidding. I love Adam's Bomb. But it is a piggy. Hello, piggy. 
Uh, you look like you could make a very good pork chop for later tonight. Oh, God. That is a lot of empty potions. Has this guy just been drinking potions all night? Where did he go? Oh, blue. Oh, my God. Dude, look at all the potions behind him. He must have, like, every single ability ever. Wait, who's drinking potions? Is the pig drinking potions? Oh, my God. The pig just drank all the potions. Oh! He has every single ability. He's going to turn into Giga Pig. Does he have speed, too? I've never seen, like, a very fast pig. Oh, and he's eating wheat. Well, let him eat the wheat. Oh, he just threw him, like, 30 blocks into the sky on accident, too. He That is one strong pig. Oh, my. Oh, gosh. You just have to make him drink milk. He needs some milk. He needs some milk. Oh, my. It's super pig. But it'll, it'll either last until they make him drink milk or until the three minutes is up. Dude, he just hit him with a diamond sword and did that. <laughs> Dude, this Giga Pig is crazy. That might be my new favorite character. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Blue versus Pig. Who will win? I have a feeling Pig is going to destroy him. Oh! Wait, hold on. <laughs> I've never seen a pig fight like this before. It's literally super big. Oh, he knows Kamate! <laughs> oh, he's destroying him! Oh my- Okay, now they're all drinking potions. Maybe if they all gang up together, they could defeat Mr. Super Pig. Did they get him? I feel like if you ate the pork chop right now, you would get super abilities. Oh! 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 Dude, he is one, one in five of them, and they all have potions as well. Oh! Oh, oh no, it's all, is he gonna die to fall damage? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, why you guys don't be sad? Don't be sad that your pig died. He just tried to destroy all of you guys. Today we're checking out what would happen if animation battled against Pokemon. And here we go. We have a DS playing Pokemon Generation 2. Professor Elm, pick your Pokeball. We have Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. Let's see. Please don't pick Chikorita. Please don't check. No way! He picked Chikorita! That's the worst one! Bro! Dude, I, I think the Gen 2 player, his name is Ethan, I'm pretty sure. How are you gonna pick Chikorita when you have Cyndaquil and Totodile right next to it? Are you serious? Are you delusional? What is going on? I honestly was so locked into the DS that I didn't even realize that there was the animation guy right there. Hello, orange man! Oh, he seems to want to get into the game. Lunchtime, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. So the guy that's playing the DS is plugging it in to charge it, and I believe it's going to go on his lunch break right now. Oh, and the orange man, I believe, is seeing this as an opportunity, potentially, to get in the game. Nintendo DS Lite. Oh, God. Is he going to get in? No way he gets in the game, right? Oh? Is he in? Where is he? Oh, there he is! He did it! He's inside the game! And everything is frozen because the guy just went out to lunch. He's gonna steal a Pokemon! He just stole a Pokemon! Did he steal Cyndaquil, though? Or Totodile? I don't even know. Totodile! Yo! Totodile is my favorite generation 2 starter, and I don't even think it's close. It goes Totodile, Cyndaquil, and then Chikorita like way, way, way down. Dude, I don't know if I'm okay with this. He just stole a Pokemon from Professor Elm. Oh, there you go, Totodile! Bite him! Get him, sick him, boy! That's a good Totodile. Anti-piracy mode on. Oh! Wait a second. Oh, the NPCs are waking up! Yo! They have consciousness now! It seems like they're realizing that one of the Pokemon just got stolen! And they- oh, are, are they breaking out of the game too? Oh! Call the police! Call the- oh yeah, they actually got- no way, they actually got a police officer for that. There he is, the Pokemon thief! Oh my gosh. Dude, get him! Policeman, 
strange creature you have stolen from a copyrighted game. Please give back the Pokemon or we will use force. Oh, God. Give it back, bro. Give it back. You don't want to see what Officer Jenny can do. Oh. Wait. Wait, the Totodile likes him now? I don't... Two seconds ago, the Totodile was biting your arm off, and now that the Pokemon people are there, he's scared and wants you to protect him, and he loves you? What on earth? What have you guys been doing in the last two minutes since we saw you last, huh? Let's see. And he runs away with them! Stop him! The Meryl, okay, uses water gun. Chikorita Razor Leaf. Oh! And the Meryl with the Bodhi Slam to the dome. That'll get anyone. Sheesh. Okay. And Ethan says, stay out of our game. You don't belong. And you never will. Okay, that was... That was a bit harsh. I do kind of understand, though, because he did steal a Pokemon from Professor Elm. I think that would annoy me a lot as well. Okay, and he's got to be pretty sad. He just had a Pokemon for like five minutes, and now it's gone. That would be so sad. Because for me, I love Pokemon. I've always fantasized about being a Pokemon trainer. Oh, it, it seems like he does the same. Yo, I've literally thought of that before. And he just got a little dose of it for like two minutes. Oh, yeah, he's got to be really upset now. Let me know in the comments down below, are you Team Ethan or are you Team Orange Man? I'm definitely Team Ethan for now. I mean, Orange Man literally just trespassed and stole a Pokemon from Professor Elm but thought it would be totally okay. All right, but let's see. Okay, Ethan's got the Chikorita and the Totodile. Now, he may not best. He has two starter Pokemon. Oh, and Orange Man's back in the game! But he's sneaking around town now. He can't let anyone see him. And somehow, that girl didn't see him at all. Oh! Hey, yo! Okay, one, that girl must be blind and also can't hear. But two, sheesh! She got a dummy and a half! Yo! That thing's crazy! I have never played this game before, at least on the DS. She's kind of making me want to play the game, I'm going to be honest. All right, let's see. Ethan is... Continuing his journey somehow did not encounter a single Pokemon. I feel like I would have encountered like five running through that But let's see orange man only has one Pokeball Which was the Totodile's Pokeball. I didn't know you could reuse Pokeballs like that But it seems like he's gonna try to catch this Pidgey. I would imagine which Is Pidgey even in the game? I thought it was Hoot Hoot was like the the first bird. I That's strange to me, but here we go. Can he catch this Pidgey? One wiggle Oh, wait, it didn't even wiggle at all. But there we go. I mean, hey, let's go, Orange Man. Honestly, I'm a lot more cool with Orange Man catching wild Pokemon than stealing it from Professor Oak. That is where I was like, okay, that's not cool, dude. Like, if you want to get in the game, that's one thing. But to steal a Pokemon from somebody, like, that's just rude. That is the rude. But if you go in the wild and catch Pokemon, I don't see why that's too much of a problem. Okay. Oh, and he's snaking on him. Orange Man is snaking on him. Oh, uh, wait, Totodile. Oh, Totodile stays back and he loves Orange Man. Bro, what happened between Orange Man and Totodile in the two minutes that we didn't see? What is going on? I mean, I know Totodile bit him. Maybe Orange Man tastes good. Maybe he's full of juice. I mean, the only thing Totodile did was bite him. Maybe he got a nice old bite and was like, dang, Orange Man, you tasty. And now he just can't get enough of Orange Man. He's thinking about Orange Man, probably dreaming about Orange Man. And now he finally sees Orange Man again. He probably sniffed him. He smelled him before he even, he even knew he was there. Turn around, boom, there he is. And here we go. He wants some more of that. He wants some more of that orange man. Let's see. Is he going to join the team? Okay, him and Pidgey seem to be getting along. And Ethan's truly is going to realize now. Yep. He's like, where did my Totodile go? It's, it's not fair that he had two star Pokemon anyway. That would have been way OP. And he would have just tore through all the gyms. And the Elite Four with both of them. Are you kidding me? But here we go. Orange man seems to have escaped from Ethan and is now on his own journey. <laughs> There's a marine following him around. Yo. Marine pretending like it's not stalking him. Honestly, me, me and Orange Man have a lot in common. He's orange. I'm orange. He's handsome. I'm handsome. He has Pokemon that stalk him. I have girls that stalk me. I pretty much am Orange Man. Let's be honest here. Let's see. What's going to happen with this Marie? Surely, it's going to join the team. Just because out of pure handsomeness out of Orange Man, Marie wanted to join that team. Let's go. He is recruiting. 
I know earlier I said that I would see Methan, but I don't know. I might be switching sides here. There we go. Marie just destroyed a Pidgeotto, but... Okay, that was somebody else's Pidgeotto. He, I, he said I lost to a stick figure. Oh my gosh! Totodile, help him! Yay! Yay! Okay, surely that's gonna recruit the Heracross. Bro, this team is sick! He's gonna have a Feraligator, a Pidgeot, an Ampharos, and a Heracross? That is actually a, such a stacked team. Let's go! Oh, and now we're back at the desktop. Oh, there's Blue Man with popcorn! Oh, he's enjoying the show. Oh! And Red Man and Yellow Man and Green Man get a couch to watch the spectacle. This is honestly lit. And they all have Pokemon hats too, dude. That is so cool. Okay, and here we go! They're about to go rescue a Slugma. Honestly, how sick would it be if this is how the real Pokemon games were? Like you were just adventuring out and you saw a Pokemon that was getting bullied or needed help. You go rescue it and then it just follows you around and is part of your team. That would be way cooler in my opinion than actually having to catch a Pokemon and have it stay inside of a Pokemon for all of eternity while you enslave it and have it battle until it dies every 10 minutes. This method seems way cooler to me. But let's see if they can rescue this Slugma. Here we go. Oh, Heracross, see ya! Oh, get wrecked, nerds! Slugma is on the team. More like Slugma nuts! I like how they're just walking right past the Slowpokes. They do not care about them at all. And there we go. Slugma defeats a Scyther. Seems like Orange Man is crushing it, dude. He's having no problems at all. And a Farfetch. Oh, God, a Farfetch is destroying that Oddish. And Mareep is not having it at all. And it seems like they're recruiting Oddish to the team. That's kind of lame. All the other Pokemon I think are really cool. Why do they have to recruit Oddish? I mean, come on. Oddish is... It's an onion. It's literally just an onion. At least Slugma is like a, a ball of magma. That's at least, you know, kind of sick. Oddish is an onion. Oh, God. But here we go. I mean, he's making really good progress. Heracross destroys a mill tank. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Pidgeotto. Oh, the Pokemon are evolving now. He's got Pidgeotto, a Pidgeotto, a Crocodile, Flaffy, um, an Ampharos now, a Blossom, a Feraligon. Oh my gosh, they all just evolved so quick. They have a Pidgeot. For some reason, Slugma is still not evolved. Everyone on the team so far is evolved except for Slugma. Come on, bro. You got to catch up. He's level 35 and he's not evolved? What level does Slugma evolve at? Oh my gosh. But with this team, surely Orange Man is going to have no problems at all defeating the Elite Four. And here we go. He's at the Elite Four already. Yo. Dude, he just tore through the game. That's like the fastest speedrun of all time. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right through. Wait, you can only have one Pokemon following you. Oh, is he gonna put, he's putting him the wall of Pokeballs now. I think this is the first time that he's ever put his Pokemon in Pokeballs. That's crazy. That's pretty cool, actually. It's like a more personal connection. All right, well, let's see how he does at the Elite Four. Oh, Ethan is there already. No way. And Meganium sees him. Oh, gosh. And Meganium informs Ethan that Orange Man is here. You. You're the one who stole the Totodial twice. What makes you think you can just walk into our game? The world doesn't revolve around stick figures. Last time I checked. Ooh, burn. I was going to battle the Elite Four, but it looks like I'm going to have to battle you first. Oh, boy. No, not your Pokemon. You. Oh, he wants to scrap. He wants to punch. He wants to fist fight, dude. And not here either. I need to fight you in a place where rules do not apply. Oh, my gosh. Wait. No way. Yo! He took him out of the game! <laughs> My champ is destroying him! Seismic tossed him! Pile dragged him into the ground! And a shiny Gyarados! It's gonna hyper beam it! It's over at GG! Oh no! Heavercross somehow tanks the hit and is down to 1 HP! Oh my gosh! You stole more Pokemon? Now I'm getting angry! Okay, and Heracross is back up to play speed. Close combat to the arrows, which really shouldn't do much at all. That Gust will destroy the, the Heracross. And here we go, we got another Pokemon. Ampharos! Yes, sir! See you later, Gyarados! Oh, and Golem. Oh, God, right in the nuggets! Oh, Blossom, perfect counter to the Golem. Perfect. Giga Drain him. Yeah. See you. Oh, no! 
Oh no, Blossom is in big trouble. Blossom is in big, big trouble. Crobat is not a good matchup for him at all. Oh no! Oh no, Blossom! Yo! Wait a minute, Blossom just passed away. Rest in peace. Although, I was talking smack on Oddish earlier. I will stand my ground on that. Blossom is definitely the weak link of the whole party, of the whole team. So, you know, it's kind of meh that it died. Still sad, though. Let's see if he gets his vengeance. Let's go, Orange Man! I do find myself rooting for him now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't think you can run away without giving back all those Pokemon. Come and get them very well. Here we go. Oh, is he going to smash him in the face with the Pokeballs? No, he's not. He's going to set on his Heracross and his Ampharos. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. This is sick. Yo. Pitsy got to get to Crobat. Misses the gust. Oh, oh. Yo. Wait, they're sending out like two Pokemon at a time and they're helping each other. This is crazy. Crobat and Gyarados against Ampharos and Pidgeot. Oh. An orange man won that duel. Oh gosh, but Ethan has a Master Ball. Oh, they're celebrating already. They think it's over. It is not over. He still has a Master Ball with the ho ho inside! I'll ask this one last time. Stay out of our game and get back our Pokemon. Oh my gosh! Dude! Is he, is he using ancient power? Like rock throw or something? I don't even know. But my champ is destroying right now and the golem... The combination of Golem and ho -Oh is crazy. Okay, how are they getting out of this one? ho -Oh is just obliterating them. Oh my gosh, and he's about to use Burn Up and Fire Blast. Oh no, and GG's, they can't move. They're all stuck in there. GG's, it's over. It is over. Wait. No, oh, Feraligator also escapes. And boom, Hydro Pumps ho -Oh into the dirt. And they're all teaming up now to do one giant seismic beam. Boom! Right into the ho ho. -oh. Yo, that was epic! Oh my god, that was crazy! Oh gosh. Meganium, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, good, good call on that one, Ethan. Yo! It kills my precious ego to say this, but that was impressive. I was trying to teach you a lesson, but you taught me one instead that anyone can become a Pokemon master. You know, that is a great lesson, guys. Chase your dreams. And don't judge anybody else who might be chasing their own dreams. In this case, Ethan didn't want Orange Man to become a Pokemon master. He didn't believe in him. But look at him now. Please accept my apology and good luck in the Pokemon League. Are they going to shake hands? Aw, oh, nice, fellow trainer. Cool. Dude, wait, Ethan's low-key the man for, like, accepting him as a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> they just picked him up like a little girl. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of embarrassing, though. You can't do that, Orange Man. That is disrespect. That is disrespect. You can't pick up another man in your own arms. That's... Bro, that is not... That's not socially acceptable. Oh, it's all the other stick people. They're all still watching. They love that, dude. That was sick. And here we go. Orange Man did become the Pokemon champion. That is so cool. Good for Orange Man. He persevered, he pushed through. Although he did trespass and steal Pokemon in the beginning of the video. I guess we're all kind of past that. And the guy's finally back from his lunch break, eating a sandwich and broccoli. Over the last couple of weeks, I've started to love Stick Wars. So it only makes sense for us to check out where all these stick figure animations originated from. And the answer is Alan Becker. This video has over 80 million views and is 16 years old. Okay, and he called this guy Victim. Now it's important that we kind of follow a little bit closely with these characters because I'm pretty sure that over the entirety of the 16 years, a lot of these characters remain the same. So as you can see, <laughs> the victim and the animator or the guy who is controlling the mouse are actually battling right now. So the guy controlling the mouse, what is he what is he drawing right now? Is that a bomb? Or is that a gun? I think it might be I don't know what the Oh! Oh my gosh! Dude, he literally crafted, oh my gosh, a slime gun, or slash acid gun, that did absolutely nothing. 
Okay, uh-oh. The victim now, though. He has the eraser. That can be really dangerous. Hey, bro, he's erasing. He is erasing. He's erasing. He's dodging. He's using it as a shield. And he even has a paintbrush to draw whatever he wants as well. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. If I was, if I had a paintbrush, I would draw a bunch of other people that look just like me and then get a whole army of me's to then battle the mouse man. That's what I'll call the guy controlling the mouse. It will be the mouse man. But if you guys had control of the painting wand, what would you guys create? Maybe a sword? Maybe a, a weapon of some sort? Maybe an animal, like a horse that you can ride? I don't know, but I, I would probably just make an army of myself. Okay, yeah, that was an easy dodge. Bro! Okay, he literally just looped him up in a loop-de-loop, -loop, and, and then he just got wrecked. He just, that, that just didn't even work at all. Oh, there we go! So he is creating duplicates of himself. That's exactly what I said I would do. Okay. Oh, wait, he just stole the, the shuriken. The shur- the shuriken. The shuriken. Now it's like a five versus one! Okay, wait, my money is definitely on the stick people, bro. No, look at them, they're destroying them. They have cars, they have a giant needle. They have the shuriken. And, uh-oh, he's just gonna quit. Yeah, that's probably the smart thing. Just quit before it gets really bad. And that was the end of episode one. But it only gets better and better and better. Remember, that video is 16 years old, and Alan Becker is still making animations today, so he's on 16 years to improve and make better and better and better things. But there we go. Okay, so now he's making another victim. He went victim, killer, beast. But now he names it the chosen one. Uh oh. Yo! Now this guy looks way stronger than the victim. Yo! He's literally using the scroll bar as a weapon. Oh my gosh! Okay. Alan Becker spawns in. Or I guess I'll call him Mouse Man. Spawns in an axe. A giant gun, a bazooka, a pistol, aim and fire. Oh my gosh, the chosen one is literally too strong. He's got laser beam eyes. This man is literally Superman. Are you kidding me? He's got super strength, super reflexes, super jump, super speed, laser beam eyes. Bro, how, how is Mouse Man supposed to beat this guy? Bro, are you serious? Whoa, wait, he just escaped. He just escaped! Wait, Alan Becker literally can't even close on the program anymore because he escaped. He's not in the program. And now he's going through the recycle bin. Okay. Everyone knows you never go through another man's recycle bin. That is like off limits, no matter what. That is best up, Chosen One. That is best up. Okay, but Alan Becker is just moving everything away. Bro! He just destroyed and shredded up his songs list. Why is he being so mean? Oh, the Mozilla, the, the, the Mozilla Firefox is trying to get at him now, too. And he just blew up the recycle bin. Oh, God. Bro literally has freezing powers, too. Are you kidding me? He just froze the Mozilla Firefox. He literally just froze the Mozilla Firefox. This guy's every single power of all time. Wait, is it the Windows Media Player guy is now fighting him. What the heck? Why? Oh, and he's gonna get wrecked. Bro, don't even... Why would you even try to fight him? Oh, he's... He's logging in? He's logging into the Windows Firefox guy. And he's asking him for help. It looks like he's, he is trying to help. I don't have much time to talk. He might kill AIM soon. Who? Oh, he's on AIM, bro. The stick figure. That guy. What level is he? I made him the chosen one. Oh, bro. That's where you went wrong. That's suicide, man. So how do I beat him? Hey, no worries. Okay, so I don't know. He's literally messaging his friend named New Guy, who told him it's literally impossible to beat the guy that you named the chosen one. I guess if you name your stick figure the chosen one, he has like every single superpower of all time, which is what it seems like here. So let's see if Mr. Alan Becker can somehow defeat this guy. Send to the send to graveyard or send to heaven? Oh, jeez. Uh oh, paint! Wait, don't let him open paint. No, no, no! Don't let the chosen one open paint. If he opens paint, he's gonna have access to like every single thing ever. Wait, paint's actually going crazy though. Yo, get him, paint! Go oh, he just took a disc inside of him and paint. GG paint. Oh my god. What is he doing? Whoa! Is he. He's about to get rid of the turn off. He's gonna get rid of the shutdown thing. Wait. Okay. All right, so right now, I'm pretty sure Alan Becker's PC's firewall is going haywire. It's going crazy. So all of those little lightning bolts are his firewall trying to attack the Chosen One right now. Let's see if he can do it. 
Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, they got him. He they got him in a chest, and he's now inside of the firewall, the antivirus protection system. Let's go. Okay. Now. Oh, he tamed him. Okay. So the chosen one has been tamed, and he has a giant chain attached to him now. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, wait, so now he's using the chosen one to get rid of all of his ads. Now, here we go. This is his third animation. Now, keep in mind, those first two animations were 16 years ago. This one was only 12 years ago. So he's had four years to improve his animation skills since then, and it already looks so much cleaner. And the chosen one is still in this one as well. He still is locked up. He still is in solitary confinement. It's actually not solitary confinement, but you know what? You, you get the point. Stick figure rights? What the heck? Wait, stick figure... I don't know stick people have rights. Although it's been kept hidden from the public for many years. Whoa! Freedom at last. Click here. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to block him from clicking it. Bro, chill. Start bl <laughs> He's literally using the chosen one to destroy all pop-up ads. That's kind of fire. Disable pop-up blocker. So now we can't use any of those fireball things anymore. Hmm. He's got to be really careful, though, because I feel like Alan Becker could totally act. Wait, he just released him. Wait, why did he just release him? Why would you do that? Bro! My man has literally been locked up for 40 years straight. What did you think was going to happen? You think you would just release him and he would be chill? You think you would just be boys? You haven't been the guy in four years. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No, no. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Stick freedom. He just went through the stick freedom ad. Oh, Alan Becker, what have you done? What have you done? Required essay. Wait, what? You're writing essays now? And, well, now there goes your essay. So, I mean, there's always the hilarious joke, my dog ate my homework. Well, now you can use the joke, my stick figure ate my homework. Because he literally just did. And now he's literally spitting up. Hey, it says what up at the bottom. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, there goes all your work. I really hope that you save this, bro, because it is, it's been burnt to a crisp. Please tell me you hit Control S. Just kill the stick figure without help. Get help with killing the stick figure. Yeah, you're gonna need some help. No, bro is turning into Pac-Man right now. Hey, buddy, I'll kill you if you don't stop that. What is that guy going to do? What is, literally, what is that guy going to do? Oh! Hold on, Paperclip is crazy! Paperclip is crazy! He knows Kung Fu! You just got paper, Paperclip slapped to the face. Oh! He literally changed his font to somebody tool and then powder him right in the booty cheeks. Okay, one sword versus two puny daggers. The giant sword should totally win, and it, it doesn't. Okay, what was that? I don't even... Oh, it was a bullet. Okay. For a second, I thought it was something else. Okay, there we go. Any last words, punk? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What I would do if I was Alan Becker, I would put him in this situation, and I'd be like, yo, Mr. Chosen One, I know that we've had our differences. I know that you've destroyed my homework, and I know that we've battled back and forth for four years now, but let's be friends. Hear me out, bro. Come on. We could be great friends. You're strong. I'm strong. We could, like, hug each other and cuddle at night, because I know that we're both lonely and have no friends or any pets or anyone to talk to. <laughs> okay, that might just be me, but that is what I would do. Nothing comes out of this guy's mouth. Pause. Except for fire. And now we're back to square one. And now you've just been roasted. Wait, dude, the paperclip dude is insanely strong. What the heck? Bro! Who is this paperclip man? He's, he's turning into a tornado. Oh, no. And you just let him eat all those things. And oh, boy. That is a lot of letters right to the dome. That is too many letters for me to read, at least. I can tell you that much. I can't read that good. So that's too many letters for me. It'd also be a critical hit against me. And they're still going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alan Becker's creating a new character. The chosen one. Zenemy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's renaming him. The Dark Lord. The Dark Lord. The Dark Lord mission. The Dark Lord is to destroy the chosen one. What do you guys think? Does the Dark Lord stand a chance at defeating the Chosen One? I think not a chance. Not a gosh dang chance. And he's going to be able to defeat him. 
Although his name being the Dark Lord is is pretty epic. It reminds me of like um 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 Dark Maul. Whoa. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. The Dark Lord. Bro. Whoa. Yo. I didn't know he was like that. I did not know the Dark Lord was like that. My man can summon spear bombs on Q. Bro. Okay, now now we're talking. Now this is a real fight right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Skadoosh! Wait. Oh, he minimized. Oh, he minimized the tap, bro. That is so sick. You know, okay, bro, Alan Becker's literally just playing solitaire right now while the two guys are squared up. That's like disrespect. Okay, you can't mess up a man's solitaire game mid-game. That is not cool, bro. He's probably trying to beat his own record, and you guys are ruining it. You're literally ruining it. <laughs> He's going back to playing, though. He does not care. And more laser beams to the eyes. Bro, this is actually Superman. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that like a big glitch in solitaire where that happens sometimes? If your computer is running slowly? Okay, punch to the face. Uh oh, you're stuck now. I got your toe. Got your toes. It seems like Alan Becker is kind of like in a neutral situation right now because he summoned the Dark Lord to battle the Chosen One, but then he totally stopped trying to battle the Chosen One himself. Like, all he did was summon the Pin Man to go after him, and now he summoned the Dark Lord to go after him, but he's kind of just chilling, playing solitaire, making sure that they're on a level playing field, and it almost seems like he doesn't really care who wins these. Uh-oh, the Dark Lord just summoned all of the different apps to help him out. He's got Google Chrome, Windows Explorer, Movie Maker, AIM, AOL. Okay, this might be too much for the Chosen One to handle. This might just be too much. Or maybe not. <laughs> he just got bit by that dude. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You just can't take them all at the same time. Or maybe, maybe you can. Okay. Skype did nothing there. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't step on a bomb. Don't step on a bomb. Oh, gosh. Nice, nice, nice. I used to love that game. I used to play that game all the time. What is it even called? Minefield? Mine, Minesweeper. Minesweeper. That game's fire. Okay, why is the the Dark Lord not coming back, though? Oh, the Firefox is back. That boy is so strong. Come on, Firefox. Blow fire on him, bro. You're right there. Oh, he goes into downloads. Never go into a man's downloads folder. Or the My Videos folder. That's even worse, bro. You got to chill with going into other people's files like that. Uh-oh. Bro, If he almost hit a bomb. I think the Dark Lord has to finish the entire game of Minesweeper before he can get out. Oh my gosh, bro. One of those guys is going to hit a bomb, too. This is getting really scary. Come on. Get him, Firefox. Yeah! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. That is a bomb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's not good. It was bound to happen eventually. It was really bound to happen eventually. And it looks like the chosen one. Seems to be winning this. And he just told him to go tell Alan Beck or something, I think. Oh, they're teaming up? Are they teaming up? Whoa! Bro, they're teaming up! Oh my gosh! They're teaming up against Alan Becker now. Are you serious? What have you done, Mouse Man? Yeah, turn the computer off. No, turn the computer off quick! No! Bro, you got to turn the computer off now. Dude, oh no, this is really bad. They're gonna delete all your photos, all your videos, all your downloads. It's all gonna be kablooey. What are they doing now? What are they doing? They're literally sucking. They are sucking so hard. They are sucking everything. They are sucking everything into a black hole, into a giant vortex. This is why you never trust the chosen one. Oh! Is that the screen monitor? Do they just, are they? Bro, that was absolutely insane. Luckily, there's a lot of other parts to this series. So if you guys want to see me react to some more episodes of Alan Becker's animated series, make sure to leave a like on this one and click right here to watch another amazing video.